EDI versus API and what's the difference between those two things. Okay, so EDI, when you think of EDI, think of a file format. Think of uh, whether it be an ANSI X12 file, an XML file, Edifact file, JSON file. It's a file that is formatted of information that your provider is telling you they're going to send you. So they're going to give you specifications of what data they're going to send to you or what data they're going to expect back from you. Okay. When you think of API, think of a connection. Think of, oh my God, I can connect to this software, application, business, however you want to think of it. Think of it as an actual connection. When you're dealing, as I said, in EDI, it's a file format and the provider of that file is laying out what details they're going to provide to you. So they're going to tell you if they're going to send you, for instance, ship to information, the address, the terms, the trucker's information, carrier information, insurance information, any of those type of things. Okay. When you're utilizing API, that's somebody saying, hey, here's ways of connecting to our system and you can pull any of these various pieces of information that we leave open for you. So if you want to collectively connect to our system and gather all these different pieces of information, here's what it is. This is our catalog of information that you can obtain. So you're literally not having to wait on a document to come into your system or be sent from somebody. You're just going ahead and connecting. That's your API connection. It's, an, it's always open. It's always ready for you to receive. It's ready for you to communicate, do those type of things. EDI, typically, you're waiting on somebody to push you a document or upload a document in a certain file format so that you can obtain it. And in that file format, you're not really going to state everything that you need or what you're looking for. In API, again, you have a catalog of information. You have that robust access into that system and it's ready whenever you are. So if you receive um, product and you want to have your warehouse ship that product, well, from an electronic standpoint, if you have an API connection to your warehouse's system, as soon as you get it and your system is ready to send along the information of saying, hey, can you ship this? That API can happen without you ever having to do anything. It can be set up automatically, goes out, obtains information or sends information whenever you want to do it. EDI, now you're again, you're at their mercy. You're waiting on them. So if you want to send to your warehouse EDI information, you're going to push it via AS2, which is a communication, or you're going to upload it to an FTP site. And then they're going to have to either um, download it from the FTP site or do a translation and bring it into their system if it's utilizing AS2 for communication. So the difference that you're looking at is you're looking at instantaneous API, whereas you're not having to worry about anything, as long as that bridge is connected, you are gonna push that information or you're gonna pull that information. If you're looking at EDI, well, from an EDI standpoint, there's gonna be select information that they're going to send to you based off their guidelines or information that they're gonna expect you to send to them. Um, so EDI, a little bit slower, a little bit less control over the data that you can receive and the data that you have to send back. API, a lot more uh, freedom in which you can do and interact that data as you want. Any questions, let me know. Again, Jim with EDI Support, we're here to help you out whenever we can.